Jonathan Noble will start us off from Bob Hemingway Stadium. And it goes through the arms of Noyle, and they'll bring it out to the 25. First down for the Aggies. And they run it, and a nice run it is for Trey Carson. And he's tops in the conference and passes broken up. There is a wide open. This has been a problem area for Ole Miss the last four weeks. And a flag down. On the outside. False start. Offense number 74. Five yard penalty. Remains third down. The Fetty, the right. Aggies make it tough on themselves. Third down and seven. Allen throws the wide out. Screen, Josh Reynolds, he's not going to get there. And so, Ole Miss does come up with a top punter in the conference. Almost 50 a kick. Set to punt. And it's blocks. Or did he get it off? Well, there's Partially flags. Blocks. There's flags down, but I thought they got a piece of the ball. I don't know how they didn't because they were in there very quickly. And Kayser's down at the 20-yard line. Personal foul. Over the kicker. Davis with the personal foul. We take another look. The ball. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. I think it's the right call. The more we looked at those replays, I don't think he got any piece of the ball. It's, yeah. it's hard to imagine that he didn't. Talk about your first quarter coming to a screeching halt a yeah. minute and a half into the game. <laughs> 39 catches. So Kyle Allen back out there with the offense. And the throw is going to be that same screen, only going the other way is Josh Reynolds, and he got about three yards. An argument that, that both of them pose the best in the conference. The give to Trey Carson. And Carson close to him. And it's Carson for the first down, but not by much. At the Ole Miss 43. Throw out in the flat. Complete. Gonna be another close to another first down. Damian Ratley. Against Memphis, 18 official missed tackles. Carson inside the 30. Five most to tempo, but they say Texas AM is the fastest they faced. And they're certainly not slowing down on this drive right now. Carson bounced it outside. Be Joseph Cheek. Holding offense number 78. Yep, so there he is 10 yards in the previous spot. Repeat first down. The backfield with Kyle Allen. This is only his 10th offensive snap of the season. Allen, look out from the backside. Down he goes. Marquise Haynes. Second down and 31. Here he is, White. Got tripped up after a short game. Breland Speak out of the 19 yard line for a first down. Allen throws a deep out through the hands of his intended receiver, Speedy Noyle. This time a return on for Ole Miss. Fair catch taken back at the five-yard line. Maybe should have let that one go. 23-yard punt. Oh. Last five-game stretch. Continue to make good decisions and pick his spot to try to make big plays. We don't want to make a mistake down here, and already we got a flag down as Aaron Morris, I think, the left guard with a false start. Prior to the snap, false start. Offense number 72. Half the business of the goal. Remains first down. And now Chad is going to be there. Vaughn Cooper back at right tackle. Kelly's going to keep it, and he's going to lose another yard. Tackle and how important he is, and Todd talked about Miles Garrett. Wow. And the kind of season he's had. Kelly throws a slant, and a great throw it is, and complete the shadow of their own goalposts. Out across the 20-yard line. Low throw, but taken by Attaboy Joe. So we'll see both teams do something similar by Chad Kelly. Between those kind of plays and their screen passes, that's where they basically pick up some of their rushing yardage. Comes back the other way to Stringfellow again. Pick this in a Wildcat set, and try to pick up the needed one foot. 
Although he gives it off, and it's more than a first down. Out to the 40-yard line, Jordan Wilkins. Nice play. Yardage than he did a week ago. Time to get Treadwell in, game, in the game. Kelly, all day to throw and going long, and it's Treadwell. And no flag, there is the flag. A step. Pass interference, defense number one. I think that's a good penalty, though, because I think this is a touchdown yeah. if he doesn't get in the way. I mean, he's beat. Treadwell has him beat. The safety's not in position to help. And because he had to slow down the... Blitz coming. Walton trying to cut it outside, but a nice tackle by Armani Watts from his... Eighth play of the Ole Miss drive. Kelly... Rolling to throw and airing it out long again. And another flag. We might have a holding call yeah. where that penalty marker was thrown. Yeah. Holding against an eligible receiver, number six of the defense. The penalty is 10 yards from the previous spot and includes an automatic first down. Mark penalty yards against the Aggies. Ooh, Walton got blasted in the backfield, got back to the line of scrimmage. Movement again. You know, Miles Garrett shifted down inside over the guard, and for the second time in the first quarter. the snap, ball start, offense number 72. Yeah. Five-yard penalty, remains second down. Kelly, the quick slant. Good catch, good hit. Seven games of the year. Walton splits out as a wide receiver. Kelly down the middle, complete short of the first down. And it's had a boy Joe against field goal this year. Kick out of the way from 44, and it's no good. A little bit too wide to the right. So still no score with 5.45 remaining. There's a handoff to Kirk. Oops, he's in trouble. A lot of it. He's got great speed and moves, but I don't know if he's got enough for this carry. Maybe. Wow. <laughs> well, there's where you see why he's such a devastating punt returner. I mean, that was just like a punt return. They had him behind the line. It should have been about a five or six yard loss. And again, the tackling problems for the old Miss defense. Missed tackles. I mean, it's hard to get bring him to the ground. After all of that, he only lost two yards. And a positive run by Trey Carson. He got five back. Third down at seven for Kyle Allen. Flares it out to Carson. Gonna have to make a guy miss, and he didn't. Now that was excellent of the possession. Tuesday and Wednesday, they spent a lot of time on tackling. It showed up there. The punt will go to the 21, and buried immediately is Collins Moore. Nice job on the punt coverage, Devante. Nice opening, Jalen Walton. And Walton, all the way in. The play was over, personal foul, defense number 23. 15 yards into the run, first down. Five penalties against Texas A&M, three on their defense as Kelly comes up to Treadwell. At the 30, he's run out of bounds. Little help from his running back. Chad Kelly's perfect so far. Seven for seven. Walton again. Things open up on the right side, and he tackled himself. Third down, less than one. Kelly on the option. He's going to keep it, and he might have gotten face masked. He got the first down. It sure looked like his head went in the wrong direction. There's the flag. And put it back foul. in. Face mask. Defense number 10. The chance to make plays in this part of the field. And it's Kelly keeping it again. He got to the corner somehow. Didn't think he was going to get to the edge. The extra tight end in there on the left side. Basically another tackle. And Kelly on a naked bootleg throws across his body and got it. Devin Ingram with a touchdown. Wow, this is not an easy throw or an easy catch. <laughs> Chad Kelly was rolling to his left, threw back across his body into a receiver who was in between two Texas A&M defenders. Mm. Extra point is good. 
Couple things to look at first. Watch Liggins help on the block on Garrett. Now Treadwell's gonna run to the corner and that's gonna draw two defenders. Most importantly right there because as Ingram comes across, he's gonna catch the ball right in between two A&M defenders. Treadwell draws two. Chad Kelly makes a hard throw across his body and sticks it in between two off A&M defenders. And the first touchdown of the game. Yesterday about using his tight end more. <laughs> he did on that drive. And we'll bring it out to the 25, and we'll send it out to Zubin. And gets the carry, and gets it. False start. Offense 65. Five-yard penalty. It remains first down. Defensive end spot number 10, one of their real veterans. Run blitz. And White runs right through it. Out to the 29, C.J. For his absence. Long. Play fake by Allen, and then he has to eat it after a pickup of a yard. And wearing that Chucky Mullins jersey, number 38. Here's Allen off a of play action, wide open. Ricky Seals Jones with a hurdle drive, and he's got a first. And you got to get the ball in the hands of Christian Kirk. White, a yard, and that's about it. Defensive end spot. Trey Carson back into the Aggie backfield. Allen right down the middle to Carson. He's would like to keep this thing drive alive as they go into the second quarter of the football game. And not going to make it with that run. Carson brought down by Young. Collins Moore with the fair catch taken. That Kelly eight for eight. Give is to Akeem Judd. Judd, nice balance. And he's got about 12, maybe more, before they can bring him down. Kelly hasn't completed a pass for more than 10 yards, but he did throw it down the field and draw penalties twice. Looking to throw one deep here. And overshot Cody Kaur. When you're in a hurry-up offense or play tempo like they do, and you're in seven, eight, nine play drives. Short toss. Jalen Walton. Got almost back to the original line of scrimmage. What do you do against a great player like Miles Garrett? Kelly rolling to throw and throws a dart to Laquan Treadwell. <laughs> Treadwell around everybody to the 40. I think Treadwell thought he was going to get in for 10. 11 for 11. Markel Pack picks up seven more. His helmet on, he had his chin strap buckled too. Kelly, quick throw. Out to pack. Another completion for Chad. And a very hot quarterback in Chad Kelly. 12 for 12 hot for 100 yards and a touchdown. And Dalen Mack, a freshman, has really made an impact for the Aggies defense. Bowls over the blocker on that Offside side. Offside by contact. Defense number five. Five-yard penalty. Remains first down. He's mistakes adding to the problem stopping Ole Miss. Got a season high in penalties, in fact. That ball batted in the air, first incompletion. So the first incompletion, back to the ground game. Big opening off the left side for Jordan Wilkins. And he's got a... Wilkins had five yards on six carries last week against Alabama, and he's had two big runs already in this first half. Brandon... To fight one for one. Another lengthy drive by the Rebels. Ninth play coming up. Kelly buried. Zaykovan Henders. Get yourself in field goal range here. Kelly, open field in front of him. And he broke a tackle and goes down at the 25. A chance to add to the lead. Wonderlick missed one earlier. This one's from 41. And this one's going to be good. Gary Wonderlick tacks on three more for the Rebels. At home, they lead 10 nothing. Touched the football one time so far, and that's no good either. And they're going to have to bring it out to the 25 again. Eight penalties, and we still got a lot of football left. Kyle Allen in trouble. Down he goes. Breland speaks, who's had... Well, he got the pass away. I thought he was going wow. down. That's a heck of an effort. Dan corrected. Nice play by number 10. Throws complete out to Carson. He's trying to give ground to gain ground and not going to get there.
Fires. Looks like a catch made by John. Last year he set the school record. Touchdown. Touchdowns receiving. Doing a pretty good job of it so far. Balls on the ground. Ole Miss has got some swagger. And they got the football. It's C.J. Johnson. Well, this, I'm not sure what the problem was. Kyle Allen puts the ball in the belly of Trey Carson, and I don't know if he tried to hold on to it too long on the read, but it was not a clean exchange. Carson didn't think he was going to get the football, and instead it ends up on the ground. Turnovers plagued this A&M offense a week ago. Missed the football at the 33-yard line, already leading by 10. Kelly throws off his back foot, airs it out there, and now he had to I think Quincy had a voyage and never saw that coming. Yep. Not that he could have caught it, but Walton brought down after a yard. Get Kelly has plenty of time. Deep middle, Laquan Treadwell. First down, down near the 15, and he's still on his feet. Treadwell, are you kidding me? Touchdown! <laughs> They don't come much better than that one. Well, they get the catch for the first down. Wow. Looked like he was down. A.J. Hilliard was there. Touchdown. The previous play is under review. A.J. Hilliard made the, the stop after the catch, and a now he was oh, his, down. His knees are he down. He was clearly down. It was such a bang-bang play. It looked like he could have been on the A&M defender and never really hit the turf. Yeah. But they're going to bring that one back. It'll be first and 10 for Ole Miss. 8.42 should be on the game clock. And he never quit on that last pass reception, even though he was down at the foot of the bottom of your screen. On first down just inside the 15-yard line. And going down again is Jalen Walton for no gain. Doing a pretty good job on Miles Garrett. He got the one penalty. Walton broke one tackle, not the second one. Good open field stop. Extra man on the rush, and it's going to pay off. They bring Kelly down. He got back across the line. Underlick adds three more to the board. He's hit one of two tonight. He's hit two of three. 30-yard field goal. But not bad for the Aggies' defense after the C.J. Johnson fumble recovery. They only give up three to get the ball in his hands. It's in it from the two-yard line. Now, that's Speedy Norrell. Beg your pardon, and Speedy got... Only averaging three yards a play. And this is a, an explosive offense, not doing it tonight. Allen steps up, fires, got a man wide open on the sideline. Ricky Seals Jones out to midfield and then some inside the 45 yard line. Oh, Allen in trouble, gets rid of it, and actually completed the pass out to James White. Now he dropped it. Well, it's probably good that he dropped it because yeah. it would have lost yardage. We'll see how long he can go. He's in there right now behind Allen. They fake it to him. Kyle has plenty of time. Far side, up too high for Damian Ratley. Well, keep in mind this. Third down and 10. Allen had hit his last seven passes before that one. Going deep. And too far out of bounds. Ricky Seals Jones. Nice play incomplete. by Hilton. Again, Hilton's got. And over in punts in some traffic. Fair catch made at the 13-yard line. Only a 30-yard in the lineup. Walton trying to get wide. Brought down as he crossed the 20 by Justin Evans. Yeah, nice play by against Alabama last week. Came out of Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College. Walton again. Again, he almost tackled himself, but he kept his balance and got a first down. Well, this is the, if the defensive end goes in, Walton hesitates, and this time they drop him. Might have gotten a yard on Molly Watts. Second down and nine for Ole Miss. Play action. Kelly going to air it long. Man out there, just off the fingertips of Markel Pack. Holding against an eligible receiver, number one of the defense. The penalty is 10 yards in the previous spot and includes an automatic first down. 
I don't understand what he was doing on that play, but it was not the right thing to do. Big opening up the middle again. Akeem Judd this time down to the 45-yard line. He'll try it again. Maybe two yards before Miles Garrett. Hung Their leader in the wide receiver group. Kelly, nice play fake. Hangs in to the last moment and throws a strike. That a boy, Joe, for the touchdown. Wow. A flag down back near the line of scrimmage. Might be coming back. You can tell by the reaction of Chad Kelly, it is coming back. Personal foul, chop block, number 64 and 21 on the offense in a high low combination. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat second down. And anyway, it takes away a 43 yard touchdown and it backs it up inside the 43 for Kelly. This one's batted in the air and intercepted by Garrett. Huge play by Garrett. First tipped the pass and then picked it off. What a turn of events. Ole Miss had a touchdown, and when we looked at that play, it looked like it should have stood. It should not have been a penalty. And the very next play, they let Miles Garrett go and try to throw the screen, and Garrett shows his athleticism, times his jump, knew it was a screen, and went up and got the football. Great play. And now the Aggies are in bed right there. And again, they go to the outside receiver. They almost gave it back right there. All season when he gets his hands on the ball. Kyle Allen has missed his last four now. There's a draw play on a counter. And White got to the edge, puts his shoulder down, and takes C.J. Hampton out of bounds. Ball, because A&M substituted, they have to allow the defense time to substitute as well. Allen trying to throw a wide-out screen, and that one was blown up immediately by Kendarius Webster. Nice play on the corner. Well, he read it. He was in man coverage on speedy. 44-yard attempts. No problem. Finally on the board, Texas A&M with a 44 scoreboard. Instead of a 20-point difference, just a 10-point difference yep. after the Miles Garrett interception. And Ole Miss will bring it out with 227 remaining in the half. Zoop. Nice long touchdown taken off the board. That one couldn't have a lot of steam on it out to Adebojo. I don't know if that slipped out of his hand. Second down, 11. And that one batted in the air as well. Alonzo Williams. One of those areas where Chad Kelly needs to be smart. See where Treadwell is. He threw it over him. This Noyle and Kirk. And you got to be careful with Christian Kirk here. And he dropped it. And the ball is still out. Ole Miss might have it back. They do. The long snapper will few. He had plenty of time to make the catch. He just didn't feel it cleanly. And I just think this is a case where Christian Kirk knows he's not been a factor the entire first half and he's thinking about making a big return here he wants to make a big play for his team but he doesn't take care of securing the football first and half of the ball and getting downfield to maybe get in on the tackle in this case the fumble recovery and now jordan wilkins blasts his way for nine yards jordan wilkins running hard again a little bit Bigger than Jalen Walton at 214 pounds. And the headlines would have wanted the ball put back there because they're going to measure, I think. Well, and also AM came out of there with the football. They thought they had a fumble recovery. Armani Watts thinks he ripped it out before he was down. Maybe he did. His body was on the other AM player, it appeared. Wow. The head-on collision, and then watch trying to rip it out of there. What do you think, Bill? Well, the peer review, the runner lost possession of the ball, started hitting the ground. Therefore, it was a fumble. It was by Texas A&M. 
a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Allen avoided some pressure somehow. Ball tipped, intercepted by Webster. They give it right back. Well, this is partly on the receiver and partly on the quarterback. Kyle Allen is trying to extend the play. There's good pressure. He leaves the pocket, but the receiver doesn't come back to the football. Damian Radley just stands there and waits for the ball to get to him. Watch right here. Instead of going back to the quarterback, and Webster goes and makes a play on the football, knocks it up in the air, and then gets the interception. That receiver needs to keep moving back to the quarterback and shield that defender. Rebels have it right back, and they open it up with a ground game again, and it's Walton who's got a first down. And you can see, and it was one of the big parts of their success. That snap was a little late or something, but Jalen Walton is still running. Puts his head down and gets to the five. Physical specimen on the edge. Second down, a short two. And Walton's got a first down, I think. At the four tight end. Third down and one. Kelly's going to do it himself, but he's not going to get there. Still trying to stretch out with the ball, but he stopped shy. It's going to be fourth down. Wow. It's down. Waterlick from 22 yards out from the near hash. And it's up and it's perfect. So the Kendarius Webster interception does pay off as the Rebels tack on three. So I would say we might see him in the second half. Rebels get the ball first to start the third quarter as well with the lead. And it'll be out of the end zone, out to the 25 we come, and down to Holly Rowe with Kevin Sumlin a moment ago. Uh, he's all right. I mean, he went back in the game. He's a little, little sore, but... Uh, he, he's ready to go. Thanks, Coach. All right, thanks. Ooh, almost wow. a big play by Miles. He's too good of an athlete to try to block him that way. A 10-yard loss, second and 20, and Walton's getting it back. A big chunk of it anyway as he goes for 16. Seven. It makes the third down achievable. Third and five. Kelly throw is low and complete, and AM's defense does its job. We'll kick it back across the field to Noyle instead of Kirk, but we'll see. And Kirk has to get everybody out of the way. It rolls out of bounds around the 28-yard line. As Kevin told Holly, Trey Carson in the lineup. And there he is in the middle and a big run on the opening offensive snap. Allen rolling left, squares his body, comes back the other way, and throws it to the Old Miss sideline. He's long. Just tied right now. So he's got to warm up. Or they're not going to have a chance. Unless this guy does it for him. Carson got a couple. Trey Elston hit him from the 38 yards on his 10 carries tonight. They fake it to him. Allen deep. And overshot everybody. Intended. Whether in the run game or in the pass protection. Carson stops in the hole, cuts back, and got four. He has to pull the trigger in a hurry, and it's knocked out of there by Trey Elston. Well, he was... I think we may see Kyler Murray sooner than later. I was just thinking that, partner. And that's not a good kick. Bounces out of bounds around the 21-yard line. The field goal. He was a left tackle on the field goal play. So we'll keep you posted what we can find out. Evan Ingram, the tight end big play and I think he's done that tonight hasn't thrown for a lot of yards but he's been high percentage completion here's the Aggies defense bowing their necks a little bit Let's see what he does this time and he did it again and they lost about five great play by Armani watch you know and show Liggins and, and Armani watch just slipped right inside the block they had a tight end there to block him number 89 Taz Zettergen and Inside the 30. Wonderlick, the kicker. Ooh, maybe he should be the punter. Up ahead. And still rolling. That's Not called flipping the field. Yeah. Jeez. That almost flipped it from one end to the other. Inside. Mesquite Chop House last night. 
Indeed. And incomplete. And Tyler Allen's. The morning he wasn't. They have rallied together and played extremely well. Allen throws on the run from his own end zone, and it's too low. Better runner than passer, maybe, but Kyle Allen, who had a great start to this season, the last two weeks has really struggled. Throwing deep from his own end zone. Chid Kayser is the best putter in the conference, but he doesn't have the normal amount of room to take the snap, but he did get the kick away, and it's a good one. Moore's going to have a chance, though, from the 34-yard line. Hesitates now, comes forward. Made a couple of guys miss, and flags fly in as he hit the deck around the 39-yard line. During the return, block in the back, receiving team, number 23. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Tell you what, you can't ask for much more. Play action. Kelly throws a dart to his tight end again, Ingram, and he's close to a first down. They're utilizing him pretty well tonight. Closing in on the all-time tight end mark for yardage. He might have gone over, in fact, on that last catch that he had. Pick up a three for Akeem. Last year, he caught 38 passes for the Rebels. and was a preseason All-SEC choice, and he looks like it tonight. Maybe a little bit of difference. Kelly squares his body and goes deep down the middle of Treadwell. Got him, and he's gone. Touchdown. Fifty-eight yards on the touchdown pass. Kelly to Treadwell. Well, they've run the bootleg and they've thrown it to Ingram and they've thrown short and that time they showed the same action, but he stopped, set his feet, and threw a great throw across the field to Treadwell. Extra point is good by Wonderland. Leg on the first play, and they hit Ingram short. This time, they're going to go deep with Treadwell and watch the safety get caught looking at the shorter routes. They ran the bootleg. Instead of throwing underneath, he sets his feet, and he throws it deep. And no better guy to throw to than Laquan Treadwell. And a huge touchdown. Chad. 70-yard drive and just four plays. The big one, 58 yards for the touchdown. Speeding oil from his own two on a kick return. And out to the 23, maybe 20. Great leader. And nothing against Cardell, but I think JT Barrett's the right guy. Just not on like he was earlier in the season. And this one, Kirk in and out of his hands. He's not having a good night either. True road game for a team since 1928, believe it or not. Allen, deep sideline. That is intercepted. Now nope, he's out of bounds. Now they switch into their punt formation. They got close to Kayser that time as well. At the 26 is Collins Moore. Maybe got a couple on the return. 20 point lead and the ball back at the 28 yard line. A little quick opening draw and it opened up pretty good for Akeem Judd. A running game tonight last week against Alabama. Uh, Memphis rather. And Judd bounces it outside. Nice run and a good stiff arm at the end. He's got a first down. They come the other way, though, at a boy, Joe. And Quincy's got it to the 45, almost. Did we were going to see if things didn't improve for Kyle Allen, and that's Kyler Murray. Boy, their ball's popping all over the place. Yeah. First, Chad Kelly almost didn't handle the snap. Football game. You've got control. Control your possession of the football. Comes a blitz on Kelly and tried to throw the back shoulder to Cody Core. He didn't turn that way. To their defense. You know, Christian Kirk would like to just cleanly handle a punt return, maybe, to try to make something happen. He's not going to get a chance here on a fair catch inside the 10-yard line. Well, we asked you our Aflac trivia question. I'm pretty sure you're aware of that. Let's see if that adjustment on the sideline helped. <laughs> And they're going to be adjusting Trey Carson. Well, I would say. Remember, last year they had Tony Connor and they had Cody Pruitt and those dudes. They're playing without Kendichi tonight, and they played very well in his absence. And another good play defensively. And the Land Sharks are smelling blood right here on third down and eight. 
Allen somehow got squared away to throw to his own. Collins Moore, fair catch called for. I don't know if he lost it in the lights or just didn't want to catch it, but uh, at any rate, it goes out of bounds over each week. Welcome into our booth there for a second. <laughs> Brad Nestler, Todd Blackwoods, that was Clint Deans and Pat McGrath, Bill Lemagne. Movement. I think that's the uh, third time we've had Aaron Morris jump early, number 72. Miles Garrett gives him the jitters over there yeah. a little bit. You know what, though? Right, they, they've done a good job. Offense, number 72. Five yard penalty. And then second down. Balance for the Mississippi offense 157 yards rushing, 208 passing. And Jalen Walton, short game. Jalen Walton, the long game. Chad Kelly on third down. Quick throw is complete to midfield to Markel Pack. And they'll move the chain. Ingram in the backfield, the tight end. Kelly's going the other way with his pass out to that boy Joe. And he tight ropes the sideline and got of him. Nice run blocking that time to get Jalen Walton. Another this a and defense back on her heels a little bit. Jalen Walton's got 83 of that yardage. Kelly. That one almost picked up by Devontae. Play action. Kelly fires to the sideline. Too hot. Kelly in trouble. Runs up in the middle of the pocket and threw into traffic and had it intercepted by Armani Watts. Big play by Watts, who's had a big night. Well, this started out as a good decision for Chad Kelly. Stepping up in the pocket. It looked like he was just going to try to run and get what he could. And at the last minute, he tried to make a throw off balance into traffic. And those things don't usually work out well. And that's one of those plays, and you talked about it earlier. They always have one of those where you go, Chad, you shouldn't have done that. Texas A&M's offense, and it's still Kyle Allen at the controls. Fakes it to Christian Kirk, and then tried to throw it to him and threw it way out in front of him. Against Arizona State, very similar style defensively. And that is 12 straight incompletions. Third and ten. And yeah, that's incomplete as well. On the field before the game, he works for Texas A&M in their uh, development office. He was a great player, too. And the punt fielded at the seven. And back to... Golson has played extremely well. And Dalvin Cook has been yeah. big time for them. And a boy Joe with the reception. Second down at four. And that's Wilkins. And Wilkins breaks into the secondary. Across it's before this snap. And this time Wilkins trying to get away from Jarrett Johnson. Picked up three more. Chad Kelly taking his time. This one's a loss. Nice play by Deshaun Hall. One of the first times we've called. Big guy for somebody whose nickname is Day-Day. Kelly. High and behind his intended receiver, Markel Pack. This point. Had a 72-yarder the last time he hit one. This is a fair catch taken by Christian Kirk. Previous 11 starts, but tonight has been really a struggle. And I, quite frankly, am surprised that we haven't seen it. This will be the last play of the half of the uh, third quarter, beg your pardon. About four yards for James White. will bring the third period to a close. Three wideouts to Kyle's right. They keep it on the ground. Trey Carson brought down by. They came in averaging almost 37 points a game and 450 plus yards in total offense a game. That screen pass is just completely. One of their real leaders. Has a couple touchdowns off those four interceptions on the year. Allen into traffic again and Elston almost had interception number five. Deep ball, man there. Oh, what a hit by Elston again on Speedy Doyle. It's back. And it is growing throughout this game right now. Kayser, nice kick back to the 16-yard line goes Collins Moore. 
And falls around the 24. Yep. If Alabama beats LSU, and if Ole Miss keeps rolling, you never know. And Ole Miss still has their big rivalry game with L. Normally taking the snap at about six seconds, seven in this case, and he's going to run it. And Chad through some traffic, took a big hit. From Hugh Freeze, only twice were they bowl eligible. Three different coaches, only two times. Flair out to Walton. Jalen's got another first down. He was a high school coach, and Kevin Sumlin was a college coach. He really reached out to him and, and kind of took him under his wing. And, and now they mind to the quarterback, Chad Kelly, as well. Yeah, that's the big thing. Kelly knows that blind side is going to be okay. That is the wrong direction, Jordan Wilkins. Wow. Wow. Almost like the end of the Auburn-Alabama yes. game a couple years ago. Here's Kelly. Want to throw a screen, and Deshaun Hall's all draped all over. And Moyle's got to get out of the way of this one. Going to roll inside the 10. Talk about doing a nice job of getting it inside Boy. the 10 by Wonderland. They work from the eight-yard line. And he's going to throw a completion, a short one, to Carson, and he got back to the line of scrimmage and gained one complete. And that one, they're lucky they didn't get picked off. Flags all over the place again. Well, here's the question now. If this is a let's not Personal give up foul, any cheap ones. Jump block, offense, number 65 and 78 in a high-low combination. After this is a goal. Repeat second down. It's the second time we've seen that call made tonight. One we didn't agree with. Nice throw and catch up to Christian Kirk. Is that his first completion? Uh, first ever. Extra rusher coming. Throw is low but caught by Christian Kirk. So back to. Again, if you're Ole Miss and Dave Womack, the defensive coordinator, you still want to get after the quarterback. But you want to keep everything in front. Carson, a tough couple of yards, maybe three. Back and down at seven. The play action and the throws of Dandy to Ricky Seals Jones. So Hubenek. Sir, Jake Hubenek. And across the middle, and so. The umpire hits the deck. Last year at Blind to throw the football and try to get him back quickly. On second and eight. Fires again. Caught by Noyle. That's per play. Ole Miss has done a great job of not giving up the big plays. And they're not going to get the first down there either. Victor after getting that thing fixed. Didn't think he'd be back this quickly. And again. That land shock defense at Ole Miss with the stop on James White. Boy, I don't know if he got that. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, Ole Miss number 13, Texas A&M number 19, first for both players. Both fouls offset, the penalties canceled. First down. One that they want to burn off this clock, and they'll have their sixth one of the year and their third in conference play. Kelly Oop. shouldn't have done that maybe Donovan Wilson I think has the interception well again I don't know why he's throwing the ball down the field he had his running back Akeem Judd wide open if he just throws it out there the safe throw they got a nice game second mistake by Chad Kelly tonight savoring the fact that their team is up 20 and apparently on their way to another win, especially with plays like Marquise Haynes. Marquise Haynes, very over, quick. Unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number nine. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Breland speaks with a first down at the 32. Throw is behind his intended receiver and broken up by Tony Bridges. Four wideouts for Hubenek. James White's in the backfield with him. Trying to throw a block for him. He would have got away from some pressure. It goes deep. Down the middle. A jump ball and caught by Noel. No, he dropped it. Had it. Dropped it. Lost his helmet. But we might get a penalty out of it anyway. I don't know. I think he held on to the ball and lost his helmet. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Number 48. Live ball foul. Previous spot. 
15 yards, automatic first down. The penalties. Zubin, a double clutch through incomplete intended for Chris. Only a field goal to show for their efforts tonight for Texas A&M, and that came following a defensive play by Miles Garrett on an interception. And Zubinak just is going to have a smile on his face when this one's over. Zubinak rifles it on the sideline into some traffic, incomplete. And Elston's over. Zubinak. This time, no catch. Or is it Ricky no, Seals Jones? Great effort by Seals Jones on the sideline, but they're ruling he was out and a change of possession. Now you wouldn't think Chad Kelly's going to be throwing the football too much, at least no. not down the field with five. Now Chad Kelly has an NFL caliber arm. And sometimes when you have that kind of an arm, you have a little bit too much confidence. <laughs> Second down and seven. A little counter with Akeem Judd. Had a nice night running the football. Picked up six more. Uh, it takes its toll. No doubt. Same play and same result. First down. You understand we had them leading Western Kentucky. Just went final a couple of seconds ago. So LSU with 48 points up tonight and another win. And him down to one timeout. They've run this play several times. This time, trying to bounce it outside and doing a pretty good job of it is Akeem Judd. He's playing like a tailback that wants 72 when he's soaking wet. And he'll try the same play as well and slip through there. That's why he's the starter. Nice run. Receivers out there. He just wants to get through this one. Kelly keeps it. Tough run. Got a couple to the five. Not and sure you want your quarterback no, not in that mess. With 2.13 left either. He's still not down. Seven straight running plays for Ole Miss. It's going to be another one right here. And it's Markel Pack, the wide receiver on the run. Knocked out of bounds unceremoniously, and the flags fly again. Late hit. Yeah. Clearly, clearly out of bounds. And frustration penalty for Texas A&M, and that's their 13th penalty now in the ball game. And you just so. said you don't want to get a guy hurt in the last two minutes. Markel Pack hasn't gotten up yet. Laquan Treadwell over there wanted to help him up, but I don't think he's going to get up right now. the play was over personal foul targeting defenseless player defense number 35 half the distance to the goal previous play is under review so riley garner their best defensive player robert kimdichi with a head injury last week at memphis and that was when robert was playing offense yeah after further review the ruling on the field is confirmed by rule number 35 that's ejected from the ball game. So the freshman from right there in College Station is done for the night. After a targeting helmet to helmet hit, and Markel Pack was obviously out of bounds. And so they moved the fee at this point either. So it's Walton. Down to the one, maybe inside the one. Got it really rolling. Walt again, and again stopped shy of the goal line. Crazy thing is, you know, we know it because three and one in conference play. And a and not trying to give up a touchdown on fourth and goal, uh, third and goal, beg your pardon. That shows a little character with this. AM defense. And now a late flag flies in again in the end zone. Oh, I just. Frustration on the Aggies After part. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 74 of the offense versus the game. 15 yard penalty is fourth down. So this one's on Ole Miss.
<laughs> okay, that's that's a flop. Now, when you're 297 pounds and a guy pushes you with his one arm, you're not going to flop that that quite that way. Zakovi and Henderson drawing the penalty. <laughs> Well, it makes it fourth and goal at the 15. 22 seconds remaining. Ole Miss will move up in the rankings with this one because uh, they were nine spots below Texas A&M in the top 25. You know, we've talked about putting that loss to Memphis behind them. Let's let's not forget that Memphis is a pretty good football team. Really they good. won again last night. Their 14th consecutive win. And Ole Miss with a great step forward after that game last week and right in the thick of things. Two buddies are going to shake hands out there. Tough to coach against good friends. Those two have uh, been good friends for a long time. And one wins it, one goes home, sadly, without a touchdown even. Ole Miss, 23 to 3 is the final. They passed Brian Greasy and the guys are at Stanford. Four, Todd Blackledge, Holly Rowe, and our crew, Brad Nessler from Oxford. Good night.